guys, welcome back to Storytel Cakes. I'm Hannah and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to make an open peony and also a closed peony. This video is also in collaboration with the super talented Lorelai from Wedding Cakes For You. Be sure to check out her video, I'll pop it in the link in the description box below. So she's going to be showing you how to make the buttercream peony version. So without further ado, let's get started. So to make the bud, you want to get a 2cm foam ball, insert an 18 size gorge wire and twist it together just like this. This helps secure it in place. Then you want to roll out some gum paste and cover the foam ball. By the way, you can find these foam balls at most craft stores. We're going to start off with the smaller size, we'll need 3 petals and then just cut them quite thinly and place it in a plastic slip as you go because gum paste dries quite quickly. Okay, this is completely optional, but I think veiners really make the peony look more realistic. So go ahead and vein your peony petals and then ball out the edges for them as well. And as you add water to the petals, just put it in a V shape and then go around the bud like this. So just slightly tucking it underneath and going around in a circular motion. And then you just want to place on a foam piece to dry and then make the second layer of petals and you want five petals for the second layer. Try to like kind of spread it, don't move it too much like this because you end up stretching it, stretching like that, you want to like even it out. As you add the petals on, kind of just tuck it underneath each other and then this way it creates kind of like a nice spiralish effect. So you don't want to kind of just like kind of push it all together, you want to kind of let a little bit of the petal hang out as well. So that's why I didn't like put water the whole way on all the petals. For the next layer, we're still going to use the medium size, but we're going to do seven petals this time. So to dry your petals, what you want to do is just have like an apple cardboard crate. You can find these from the supermarket. Literally, they're for free. Just make sure you like, you know, just go in the back and just ask them for it. Um, the reason why I like using apple cardboard trays is because not only is it the perfect shape for the peony leaves to dry on, peony leaves, no, sorry guys, peony petals, okay? I keep saying leaves. But yeah, well, peony petals to dry, 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 dry. So if you do happen to visit the supermarket, you'll find that sometimes they have fruits that dry on this apple cardboard tray. <laughs> last time, I'm serious, last time. So if you do happen to go to the supermarket, you'll find that sometimes they use the fruits and they dry on this little cardboard tray. All you need to do is ask them for an apple cardboard tray and then you get one of these, they're for free. Pretty much what you do is you want to put the leaves Sorry guys, it's not leaves, it's petals, okay? So what you want to do is you want to put the petals to dry here and the reason why you want it to dry on this type of a tray is because it's cardboard and it absorbs the moisture faster, meaning it will dry faster for you. And also it's the perfect shape as well. I've got here this little veiner tool set thing and we're going to use this crease here. So we're still going to do another 7 of the medium size, but this time it's going to be wired using a 28 size gorge wire. So just add about 3 quarters to halfway up and then what you want to do is simply press it down. Press it down to secure it so then you know it's not going to fall off. So when you dry your leaf, kind of curve it like that, but hold it, make sure you're holding it at the same time and then place it down like that. So while that's drying on the apple tray, you want to make seven of your largest petals. If you don't have one of these and you want to just do it by hand, you can. It's just a little bit more trickier. Just means that you have to roll this fondant here. You see how you're slowly are building up that little mountain? You can see that little mountain that's slowly being built. And 
and that's it. So you just insert the wire through and you do exactly what you did with the other pedals. Quick recap for you guys, we've got seven medium unwide pedals, seven medium wide pedals, and seven large wide pedals. So once your pedals have dried, which usually takes two to three hours, you want to just pop it all around the peony. And as you add the leaves onto, oh my god, not leaves guys, sorry. As you add the petals around the peony, you just want to add it in like kind of like a way where you're adding it to the connecting points of two petals rather than just like a petal on top of a petal. I literally just got like a little small hair curl I found at the $2 shop and I'm just going to cut it up into mini lines here and then just cut it again just to add in between the petals because sometimes the petals like you know they tend to close up and if you want it a bit more open you can put these through and the great thing is once they dry you just simply take it out and you get this nice little like gap in between the petals as well. So next up, you just want to add the wide petals and then just start by adding one at a time. So don't add all at a time, just do one at a time. And then just go around the circle motion like this. And once that's done, you can just move it around and hang it upside down to dry. If you want to twist your wires, just make sure you kind of like use your thumb and finger to hold between the wire area so it doesn't poke out. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do the final layer. So you can actually stop like where we did before if you want like a smaller peony, but if you want like a full blossom peony, then just go for this layer as well. To make our open peony, we're going to need three 28 gorge wires. We want to twist it together at the end and then add a little bit of gum paste over the top so you get a little bit of a bud going on. Add some water if you want it to help stick as well. Once that's done, you can add some little details onto the bud with just a knife and just go around like this. Then just place it aside on a foam piece to dry. I've got some stamens here, you just want to take a 28 gorge wire and then kind of like twist it together so then it secures it into place and then twist it up again so the kind of stamens pop out a bit. And now you want to use a smaller cutter and you want to cut out five wired petals. So we've got five of the smaller size petals, we've got six of the medium and seven of the largest. I'm using some edible pastels grated up and also some apple green and what I'm going to do is just paint the buds a little bit green on the bottom and a dash of pink on top so it gives it that nice realistic bud effect. Next up you just want to take your buds and put it all around the stamens just on either end so it's nice and even, snip off any excess and use the floral tape, make sure you stretch it so it becomes tacky and then kind of like twist it together like this. Once that's done you can move the stamens around wherever you like. Optional step is to use some pink pastels to colour the bottom ends of the petals. Once your petals have dried, you simply just need to take them out, kind of twist it a little bit so it's easy to work with, and then use the floral tape to go all around. So do one at a time, don't put it all together at once, it's just a lot easier when you do one at a time. And try not to twist too much when you do one because it creates like a bulk at the end, so just a small twist every time you add one on. So I've got five here and then sometimes I find like turning it around helps like adding it easier as well. So if you find that's easier you can work with it like upside down. Voila, we've got our open and closed peony. 
as always guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do happen to make these peonies please hashtag Storytale Cakes on Facebook or Instagram I'd love to see and like them and be sure to also check out Lorelai's video because she's going to be showing you how to make the buttercream peony version and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be something that's really intricate it's going to have some brown, some orange and some black so can you guys guess what it is? Comment below what you think it will be. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, and this is, okay, to dry your apples, <laughs> to dry your apples, no, to dry your peony leaves, no, not even peony leaves, <laughs> okay, so to dry your leaves, no, it's not a leaf, it's a petal, okay, so to dry your petals, drive, <laughs> why am I saying drive, so, to drive, okay, <laughs> oh, I'm so angry at myself, okay, so to drive your, okay, Okay, shut up. Okay.